in this tease math and med dosage video. Two things. First of all, we're going to look at pounds and ounces, looking at converting back and forth between those. And the second thing, I'm actually going to show this example through my new infinite QBank. Let's jump right into that. You can literally generate an infinite number of questions. And I mentioned pounds and ounces. That topic is going to be available underneath med dosage. We're looking at conversions. And then our topic is going to be weights and solids. Let's generate those questions. And every time you do this, you're going to get 10 fresh questions. Notice we also have some micrograms, milligrams, pounds, kilograms. But in this particular video, I did mention pounds and ounces. And this first question, ironically, that was generated, it's a perfect example. 8.125 pounds is equal to eight pounds and blank ounces. And you may think that 8.125 pounds is eight pounds and one ounce because of that one right there, or eight pounds and 12 ounces, or eight pounds and 13 ounces, and none of these are correct. How do we figure this out? In this particular example, the eight in front of the decimal, that represents eight whole pounds. Now here comes the shortcut. We want to take this 0.125 pounds, the decimal portion of the pounds, if we take this decimal portion of the pounds and we multiply it by 16, this is the shortcut for converting pounds to ounces. You take your pounds, you multiply it by 16 because there are 16 ounces in every pound. And when we multiply that in this case, we get two. Now I'm showing you the shortcut first, but there are other ways of thinking about it. And you'll see that right here in a second, but let's come in here and fill in this blank. It is two ounces. So when we type in a two and we check, notice you get instant feedback in this infinite question bank. I even mentioned the shortcut to convert pounds to ounces, multiply by 16. But something important to mention here is that we're only looking at the decimal portion. We're gonna convert the decimal portion of those pounds. We're gonna convert that to ounces. And if we zoom in on this dimensional analysis, 16 ounces, that is equal to a pound. You need to remember that conversion. And we need to get rid of this word pounds. And notice what I'm multiplying by. I'm multiplying by the decimal portion of the pounds. I'm not including the eight, because if you read the question here, we already know it's eight pounds and we want just the number of ounces that come from this decimal portion of our pounds. And with that said, check out this shortcut. You can see now to convert pounds to ounces, we do multiply by 16. That's exactly what we're doing right here in our dimensional analysis. And while I have you here, look at question number two, 30 pounds and seven ounces is equal to blank pounds. What we want to do here is we want to convert these pounds and these ounces to just pounds. Give this one a try. Leave your answer in the comments and head on over to app.bcraftmath.com where you can check out the infinite QBank. Thanks for watching and take care.